All right, I gotta change the eyes here, kids. I can't see squat. Um, I'm gonna have a little leeway. Uh, the retired school teacher. I'm going back to school. I have to be down at IUPUI at seven. I'm gonna try to skedaddle by 6:40. We're not done. Uh, we have some business down at uh, number five. And I'm, colleagues, I hope you don't mind. I taking some levity with the agenda. Uh, leeway. Uh, down at number five, we have a couple of issues uh, that have action that we have to take as a board. So are we on the air? Oh, call the order. We're started, right? Yeah, we're started. Uh, they don't show us anyway, do they? Yeah, he's on the watching us. Sometimes they do. Really? You know what would be funny? I'm just sit up here with a big red nose and just see if anybody notices. You do it once. <laughs> do it once. Um, we have a budget transfer and... Uh, Eric has been playing with playground equipment quotes for a while, acceptance of playground equipment quote. So, Mr. Eric, you want to run us through resolution number two? Uh, resolution number two, a resolution to transfer appropriations between budget categories within the Department of Department's budgetary allocations. Um, so we're asking for a transfer of 12500 from... Um, operational supplies it's actually an overture in our gasoline so we have <clears throat> we have a excess in that a category of 12,500 we're asking that be transferred <coughs> to uh, machinery and equipment uh, 445002 to purchase a mower we're um, It'll get us back on the rotation. We actually, this year, we haven't bought one yet. Bought two last year. We have to get one this year to get back on the rotation. Okay. So uh, then we'll be one annually after that. So um, if, if anybody wants to look at the appropriation, we only made one copy, but. Cool. Yeah, Where are we buying it from? It's Reynolds. Reynolds, that's yeah. what I thought. Any questions for Mr. Eric? We're getting, is 12,000 for, is, did you say 12,000 total? Uh, 12,500. Uh, we're getting uh, 6,500 for the trade-in. Mm -hmm. So that's for 2014. So we're getting a 19, so with five years, um, then we're purchasing one for $12,396. They retail at 18, uh, 18 8, and then minus 6,500 oh, okay. gives us 12,396. Um, so, in essence, we're paying about a $1,200 a year annually for, those, for that equipment. It's almost a lease, but probably less expensive than a lease, even with that kind of. Because we trade them out with fairly low hours, and um, and John Deere offers a three-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on it, um, so we we get a pretty good trade-in value on on those. Uh, so where are we taking it from? I'm just trying. We're taking it from uh, our gasoline, which is um, operating supplies. Four two two. Four two two. Yeah, four two two zero zero one account. So we have 18,333 right now in that account. There we go, yeah. So we'll have just um, moving it to the four. Shy of 6,000, I guess, through the end of the year. And our bills are running about $1,100 a month on fuel, on gas. We, we don't share our gas anymore with any of this. Right? We don't. No, we've all got um, uh, Thornton cards, so we we buy directly from Thornton, and we and I'm, the city gets a pretty good savings on it, but I'm not sure what the amount is, mm -hmm. uh, and we don't have to deal with these pumps of ours that never did work. Right. <laughs> 
So our 445 machinery equipment, where are we at there? What will that? Uh, don't believe we have what three hundred dollars in there, Dina. We don't have very sixty-six much. cents. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, yeah, got sixty-six. Yeah, sixty-six cents. Sixty-six cents. Yeah. 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 I'd say. <laughs> I got a chuckle. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I don't know why I'm laughing, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> Any other? <laughs> Sorry. Any other questions for Eric? Uh, well. Uh, Entertain a motion to transfer funds. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Go by a mower. Well, right. It should be our last transfer for the year. I know the we don't um, we don't generally do that, but um, it should be. Well, next on our agenda there is um, walk us through it, boss. We sent out a request for proposal. Uh, for playground equipment at Explore Park. Received back from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. Eight vendors. Um, some vendors sent two or three different uh, options. We provided a budget figure of $50,000, and then they uh, looked at the equipment we had at Explore Park mm -hmm. and kind of matched that. Um, we're uh, recommending uh, game time equipment, Sinclair Recreation, with option number one. The 45,000. 45,000. Okay. Um, it closestly matches what we have, and the uh, we're going to be doing this in-house. We're going to be installing, and we know the game time system and how it goes together. Um, we did get a pretty good application from Recreation Unlimited, but um, the installation system is different than what we normally do. And I just think for the sheer um, opportunity that we're doing it in-house, that we go with something that's similar to what we've and done you know before. About. And, and uh, we know that Game Time has a good reputation and then also... Um, has a good warranty system so what's the timeline for installation is this a april it'll be, it'll be a winter project for us we'll order the equipment uh, probably get it sometime after the first of the year and then we'll do the install this winter when uh, we'll we'll do the removal and and uh, here in the next 30 days and then we'll do the install this winter comes to the old stuff we have to, we'll, we'll scrap it. We cannot um, provide refab it to anyone. Refab it and get Can't it. refab it or anything. So okay. it's, it'll just be scrapped. It'll just be a, we'll actually have our Republic or somebody will bring a dumpster out um, and we'll. Um, now does this include everything from the surface to? Does not. This is just the equipment. So okay. just the equipment. We still have uh, about twenty-five thousand in to do the surfacing and the uh, permanent concrete border. We'll do that. Probably uh, Reese Construction or somebody. Uh, we've been do using them a lot. Okay. Um, they did both the uh, playgrounds at Veterans Park. So we'll have them do the. The border, and then we'll do the install and put the uh, wood mulch in. Okay. Anything else, folks? All right. Uh, I would recommend that we accept the quote presented by the superintendent from game time. So moved. Those in favor? Second. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Build away, guys. Make sure you get those done. All right, we have friends from OIO that are here. So, so you don't have to sit and endure. Come hither. <laughs> All right, hello. Howdy, howdy. All right, uh, my name is Matthew Martin. I am the president of OIO. Uh, I brought with me Michael DeSanto, my executive vice president. Uh, this is my first time doing anything like this, so I'm a little nervous. Bear uh. with me, please. <laughs> We won't throw too many things at that. Yeah. All right. Um, 
couple days ago, I believe we emailed our itinerary here and everything to everybody. Uh, did everybody mm -hmm. get a chance to take a quick look at it? Okay, excellent. Cause we're probably gonna be skipping through it here. Just, I know your guys' time is short. Um, first off on behalf of myself and the OYO board of directors, uh, thank you for working with us. Uh, past five years, you know, the utility support for our concession stand that we made back in 2014. Um, <clears throat> you guys patched the Karth Pats, which helped out. Uh, earlier this spring, we had an issue with the concession stand. Everybody was very quick to have it repaired. Uh, the new playgrounds and walkways, they were a big hit this spring and fall. Um, grass cutting on the fields, you know, every, every week it seems like we just, it, it looks beautiful, thank you. Uh, tournament support with extra waste service removal, uh, that helps out immensely and the weekly maintenance around Veterans Memorial Park. So once again, I'd like to just say thank you for all the help you've given us. Uh, if you uh, go to page four, we're gonna start there. Uh, current state of the program based on 2019. Um, some of the success we've had is uh, this year we served 1,400 players, 900 families. Uh, we offered exclusive challenger program. Uh, we hosted our largest ever David Manlove Memorial Tournament this year. Um, we've maintained uh, full-time travel and the fall ball programs. Uh, oversaw sponsorship re rebound, but still below what we had in 2012 to 2014, but we are rebounding as far as sponsors go. Um, we established communication strength to prove park and field conditions. Uh, transition to the new registration platform and website within six weeks. Our old registration system gave us notice a day late that they were no longer going to do anything. So we had one month to get a new system in place for everybody registering for the fall ball season. Uh, resume end of season satisfaction surveys from all OYO families. Uh, we have restarted our survey monkey. And uh, so far we've been getting a lot of feedback as far as uh, uh, the survey goes. Uh, we formed a strategic alliance, especially in softball, with Fall Creek and Brownsburg this year. Um, is, yeah. So that was really good uh, for the first time since I've been at OYO in eight years. Uh, we were helping each other out. Uh, some of the misses this year. Uh, year on year, year on year participation has declined 4.1% from 2018. Uh, participation is down 17.9% since 2015 peak. Uh, spring season participation takes a hit with proliferation of travel and other sports. Pretty much uh, full-time travel yeah. is starting to take away from some of the rec. Uh, we had to cancel Bill Stern Memorial Tournament for the first time in 24 years just due to the lack of teams wanting to join. Uh, winter workout programs went through, uh, they were somewhat complicated, cost prohibitive, and facility being pursued. Uh, leadership transitions from 2015 to 2018 uh, missed growth opportunities. Uh, we just had a lot of board members, executive board, in and out. So we're, we, we are in the process of writing the ship on that one. Uh, park infrastructure improvements needed to help retain more visitors and participants. Anybody got any questions on that one? No. Okay. Uh, did you see where your participation in from what area? Because OIO is in a unique location to, mm -hmm. you know, Hancock County, Lawrence area. Is there any specific area that you saw reduced participation? Not that I've seen. I don't know if you saw any trends. Yeah, not that I've seen. Okay. There's nothing that really, like, stands out as okay. this group is gone. Yeah. Okay. I, I did have a question. So what specific infrastructure? You must have something in mind. Yes. I'm missing a conversation or? I don't think we've had it yet. <laughs> Here at the end, is, we're going to get to that. <laughs> yeah. be announced. All right. So we are going to skip ahead to page eight. All right. 
Okay, so partnership license agreement renewal. Our, uh, our uh, license agreement with the City of Lawrence expires December 31st, 2021. Uh, no time like the present to start getting into it and trying to get this figured out. Uh, explore renewal during the 2020 calendar year. Uh, consider allowance for new permanent facility of Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, once again, we're gonna get that here in a couple minutes. Uh, consider allowance for infrastructure maintenance and upkeep, including parking lot repairs, lighting fixtures, et cetera, stuff like that. Okay. Any questions on that page? No, pretty straightforward. All righty. We're going to move on. Uh, we do have a financial summary in there. I'm sure you, everybody's looked at that already. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just skip through that. And... Let's go to page, where are we here? All right, uh, page 19, park improvement project or projects exceeded terms. All right, so uh, since 2006 to 2019, we've invested $525,966 in OIO dollars invested. That's a 37,659 year average. And you can see uh, 2015 was our biggest year. I believe that was when we built the concessions, the second concession stand. So uh, pretty much We've exceeded everything that we were asked to do in our license agreement, and we've done more. All right, uh, any questions about any of that? Okay. And then uh, I'm just gonna hit page 22. And here's the park expansion that we are discussing. A uh, park expansion initiative. We are proposing that we would like to build a indoor practice facility on the uh, park's premises. If you can see in the rough diagram here where it will be, where we would like it to be. Uh, promise timeline, finalized blueprints, uh, January 2020, secure approvals and permits by March, groundbreaking in May, construction complete in October, internal prep in November, and open for use in December. Okay. And then just very quickly, if you turn to page, page 23, um, I kind of give you the why, uh, the facility's basic elements and the facilities, what we, would, what we need, what we would like to have on it. Uh, the why, like we were talking about some of the uh, low numbers, uh, high demand for indoor practice space for baseball, softball teams, and programs. Uh, we do lose a lot of kids to travel teams outside of OYO for one reason, because their teams have indoor practice facilities they can practice at all winter long. We do not have that at the moment. Uh, fees for outside vendor rental uses on the rise, uh, Incrediplex, um, 84 sports complex, they're, they're uh, going up every, every year, it seems like. Uh, seeking to further differentiate OIO from the surrounding programs, and player development is desired by OI families and ballplayers. Then uh, pretty much the rest of it, um, we're looking at a 70 by 70 dimension field, uh, lighting, retractable, batting cages, and pitching lanes, concrete path walkways, a waiting space uh, will be climate controlled, storage areas as needed, restrooms, alarm monitoring, and turf flooring. And then the very last one would be, eh, if we can afford it, it'd be nice to have. Uh, meeting space to 40 to 60 people, and a, garage a climate controlled garage space for all of our equipment. All right, 
uh, next page, indoor facility, uh, exploratory meeting. Uh, we talked to Jim Hansen, he's president of Glenmark Construction. Uh, he served seven years as an OIO board member, including term, two terms as the first vice president. He's also the gentleman who constructed the back concession stand in 2014, and he is an OIO sponsor. Uh, Glenmark would identify an independent contractor for savings. Uh, where they could not do that, where Glenmark services would be needed, work would be done at cost. Uh, cost will range from six to ten dollars a square foot for metal alone. Uh, construction costs estimated at one hundred to one hundred twenty-five thousand, with indoor finishing running twenty-five thousand. And then once again, uh, just you know the construction timeline. Any questions on any of this? Uh, yes. Twenty five thousand for the indoor. Does that include That's, uh, air conditioned base as well or is that, cause you don't you don't have any utility type? Yeah, it'd be climate control. That's also the turf and the netting, I believe. Yeah, the interior yeah. expenses would be more about the chirping and the netting and the um, you know, any kind of equipment <coughs> furniture or things that we need to make it an indoor indoor practice facility. So the Air conditioning, whatever you're going to put in there is included in the 100 to 125. I believe so, yes. All right. And then the next page is, is uh, kind of uh, how we expect to pay for it. Uh, pretty much when we were doing our homework, our travel teams roughly pay $24,000 a year to practice in other places in the winter. Why are they paying that when they can come pay it to us? <laughs> so uh, in terms in year 2021, uh, travel teams, we have six bombers, two Red Storm teams, uh, practice two times a week at, and at $2,500 for the year, uh, that gives us 20 grand for that year. And as you can see it going down, uh, we expect to add more teams and add more uh, revenue from it. And then the next page is a financing example on how we would do it if we took a 30 year loan out at 4%. And you can see here by the way we've got set up, we would have it paid off by 2024. Any questions on this? No. It's ambitious. It's a, I'm trying to picture mm -hmm. where it would go. It'd go on that north side, north entrance. South side, actually, south along. Uh, Off 63rd. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 600 there, 62nd Street, yeah. Um, east of the east of the parking lot between those, where Bobby Jones or Bob Jones' house is. Not, okay, got it. Yeah. His house. I'm not sure who the neighbors are there, but. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's just a quick look at one of the major projects we'd like to get going here soon. Um, if you wanna skip to page 28, um, talk about uh, uh, 2020 and beyond, uh, our partnership, OIO, and the city of Lawrence. Uh, customer first approach, uh, grow our spring registration numbers, expand spring, fall participation in softball. Focus more effort and resources to address key issues in survey, including following established process for more balanced teams, developing more collaborative coaching models to improve quality of instruction for all players on all teams. Uh, deliver on commitment to develop players in the indoor facility. Uh, build affordable cost conscious facilities, support off season development for everyone. Uh, minimize financial burden, for future OYO boards to manage and monitor. Uh, one of the biggest things is we just, we don't want our 
people coming after us to have to deal with this financial burden that we've done. So we want it taken care of quickly. That way they don't have to be dealt with the burden. Uh, and then one thing we, we do need some help on, maintain Veterans Memorial Park, uh, shared investments by OIO and the Parks Department. Uh, OIO to allocate resources and dollars to reconstruct one of our batting cages with concrete foundation. Uh, unfortunately, we did have to finally tear down one of the batting cages. It, it just it got to the point where it was no longer safe. Uh, we do have plans to rebuild it. We just we got to get started here. Uh, invest in field improvements, including lip repairs for safety. Uh, if you don't understand what that is, is it's where the dirt and the grass meet, and a good hard hit ground ball can become uh, very dangerous. They arrange your chicklets if you're not careful. That's yeah. For sure. yeah this dream. Uh, repair fencing and storage sheds and repaint, repaint the trim and the structures. Um, what we need to partner with Lawrence Parks Board to secure funding and resources support for is uh, paving cart paths, uh, painting parking lot lines, uh, directional path, engineering, and signage for both parking lots. We like to try to make, almost make it like the parking lot like a one way going around. Uh, infrastructure projects related to the indoor facility, uh, sewage, water, stuff like that, we would need help with. All righty. Uh, any questions on any of this? No, but that's ambitious. <laughs> you got to be, like you said, we're in competition for bodies. I know that. Yes. Yeah. Questions, folks? Eric, did you, on the last page 28, are there some items, <clears throat> excuse me, like there are you know, some items we can address in next year's um, next year's budget, of course, uh, lining the parking lots would probably be the simplest and most cost effective. Um, won't last very long. No, no. In, uh, in the south lot because it's yeah. never been topped. It's just a, a just base unit or okay. base. It's never had any. Um, so again, I have. Uh, Going back to our five-year master plan, I think we include that we have a five-year paving plan or five-year right. um, uh, infrastructure plan. Infrastructure plan, there you go. These sort of things in, in that. Um, What's the issue with the cart pads? They, they're just, well, out. part of them are still just aggregate. Where oh, we, okay. yeah, they need to be. And, and they are. You know, as asphalt does, it is starting to, yeah, to start break and up and fall uh, apart. Um, those, as with soccer and the other ones, we have a lot of vehicular traffic on them. Right. Um, and they're not built for they're built for pedestrian traffic, not uh, not uh, the vehicles. Uh, let guys going out, to, oh, yeah. which is the, and concession operations in the back. So, yeah. so some engineering would have to go into that, especially the back pathway that make sure it would. Uh, is it ADA compliant at least? I mean, are we yeah, I mean, yeah because it's handy because it is uh, compact material. Oh, okay, it is, uh, but it's still not and, safe. Well, the you know, their their customer base, especially for the little kids, they've got playing on the uh, west or on the east fields mm -hmm. and it's it's the hardest to oh, mm -hmm. maneuver to to access so to have access to so um now the infrastructure items now what role did we play when that concession stand was put in did we we installed both sewer and water to the uh water was fairly easy because we had it um back there right um, Water would probably have to. I don't know. We'd have. I'll have to go utilities, but I think they'd probably tap off 62nd Street um, and to facilitate water. Um, sewer would be a gravity flow out to 62nd Street okay. also. We want to stay away from the grinder pumps like we have in the back concession because oh, we had yeah. to go all the way over to Bearsdale to put that in. I so. Remember that. Cussing. Um, Again, depending on what the um, what the load is, uh, 
might be more cost effective to put in a little small grinder pump if it's just uh, you know a couple uh, a couple toilets but if you've got several then we might need to look at something so we'll have to look at that I don't know um, I think we can use gravity feed there but I I don't know well I um, it looks like Eric you and OIO it says, I was looking at your timeline here, 2020 <clears throat> timeline here. Uh, it was very, see what the final project's supposed to look like. Okay. I, I guess my big issue is what we just talked about, the infrastructure. Uh, it would, I'd have to get with utilities to find out why. Right. Okay. Charge. That's the big they one. Even, they even charge us, uh, so. They charge everyone. <laughs> um, Eric, real quick, last thing. Uh, on that partnership thing, what are, where it says partner with Parks Board, can we knock some of those out before season begins next year? We can certainly, uh, the parking lot painting, I think that can be probably done with monies, this year's monies. Okay. Um, the signage, uh, again, I, I think that's just a, more just uh, a with, thing. And I, I, th I think what Matt's talking about, you're talking about directional parking in the parking lot, so you get, yeah. you get a few more parking places in, right. um, and it helps with the traffic flow. Mm -hmm. getting okay. in and out. So, exactly. Um, Gridlock. Autos uh, lining that, that does that for us. We'll just take a look, an aerial look, and, and they'll design something pretty quick. We okay. need okay. handicap spaces in the uh, south lot. We don't. I don't know that we have any signage there or not. In the south lot. The south lot. Um, we do, but it's one sign. Okay. So, yeah, I I think there's a couple things we can knock out. With. Okay. Okay. Um, my discussion would be with. O and M costs mm -hmm. uh, after right. construction process. Yep. Um, how long is the warranty on the HVAC? You know, when would the when would the city start being responsible for some of those okay. construction, mm -hmm. um, and how we might work in some um, O and M costs into the financing, or you know, as a reserve. Right, as things uh, do break. Uh, you know. Whether it's a ten-year, fifteen-year, but look at some okay. some reserves for just that structure. All right. Well, thank you, men. As always, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Would, would we have to extend the use agreement? I was thinking that. Yeah. In order to Question. get the loan, you're gonna your use agreement runs out the end of 21, right? Yes. So, do you think that would need in order to get the loan? Would you need to have a, a longer use agreement? Would we? Because we ran into that before, didn't we? Something. I think, boy, I, um, when they built the concession in 15, I think it was just for their own, their own uh, approval that that's when we had the five-year, um, we went for a five-year extension. Yeah, five-year extension, right. yeah. And I think that was just for, their own satisfaction. Right, peace of mind. Owes. I don't, I'm sure you've got. I, I, I don't care as long as the, the people doing the financing don't right. care. <laughs> I mean, well, I, that's what, that's, yeah, I mean, yeah. you're going to run into that problem. That's yeah. what I'm asking. I would put that on your at least to question list. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would right. just add, I, I really appreciate the, uh, the far looking, you know, statements that you have in here and the, the work you put into it and, oh, God, yeah. and even the specificity with what she put down, what you need. Mm -hmm. And that's very pointed, so nobody's guessing, and helps everybody. So that's a sharp plan. So thank you for doing that, President. Thank you. you. Screwed up in reverse. You get to do this again next year too. <laughs> it's good for you. Thank you very much. Especially thank everything you. you do. Yes. Thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, Matt and Michael, whenever you get a chance, we'll just we'll start uh, plugging away on this and. The permitting process will probably be the one of our first jumps. So, okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we can get back up to number two there. Uh, reading of the minutes. 
and all that good stuff, except the minutes from September the 11th. I actually gave a lecture that night. I was kind of excited. Played teacher. So that was fun. Uh, that's not what they said you did. <laughs> September, yes, that's definitely when I, I got, I, I made money. So it's always good to make a little extra scratch. Any additions, changes, discussion on the minutes? No, I move we accept the minutes. All right. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Um, just a couple things there real quick. Uh, Eric and I um, at, we had our arts meeting. It went real well. They're getting a little more focused. Mm -hmm. uh, still no firm dates yet. That's kind of worrisome. Uh, Working with a uh, city attorney, uh, RFP, or a caterer, and she's also working through <clears throat> the MOU, uh, which is a work in progress, of course. Um, we're still kind of, I hate to use this phrase there, to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I still think we're in a kind of a holding pattern. With, yeah, because we, we don't know what schedule is. Yeah, yeah. so we're kind of in a holding pattern. We're going on for 2020, just as we would, you know, any other year, we're taking reservations for the Starrett Center and um, probably have 25, 30% of the Saturdays booked already, maybe, so, quite a few actually, so. Um, okay. Can I ask about a question about the kitchen there? I yes. haven't been in, in the kitchen for a while. Okay, Are we missing a, a range or a stove or is one of them not functional? We purchased a new range. Uh, it it's only has one burner or one one oven. It still has six burners on top. Doesn't have the griddle. We were we were having quite a few uh, prog problems with our rentals mm. because the pilot lights go out, and first thing they do, they call the fire department. The fire department come up, shut the gas off, call the citizens' gas evacuate the building and we awesome. we do it every Saturday it seemed like so we bought a new stove thinking that um, that would help and it's it's so <laughs> it's so safe it's it doesn't work half the time you have to light the pilot lights each time it's got a magneto you light the pilot lights and and most people don't understand it so they turn it off and then they we get a call anyway so we do have a new stove, but it's it's smaller than the other one. Well, I've heard stories about that's why I ask. I've heard stories about the range. It's yes, so, so we do have a new one. We haven't put in um, operational sign yet, but we're going to do that. Just idiot proof it. If we can idiot proof it, we generally turn it on Friday before we leave, and hopefully nobody turns it off. Uh, it's, there's a master switch that everybody seems to turn off and turn, turns the gas off. I, I, I haven't gone in great detail, but I've talked to two people that are, have, have used it or been catered, and they seem to think they're it, the size of the oven we have now, it might li limit a professional caterer. I mean, one oven is not enough space to take care of the capacity that room will hold. People, so if you know, have to yeah, prepare yeah, food for the number of people that room and the whole facility would hold in and out, especially in the summer. One oven, the one stove we have is not big enough. Well, it's, a, it's something to consider when we're doing these RFPs and or bring people in that look at the facility. Mm -hmm. so yeah, the professional caterer that came that's it's a good point. I, you know, I've got that. Yeah, um. I mean, come over to your house, Judy. And yeah. yeah. Now, have you spent much time in your own kitchen? So when you said you hadn't spent much time in the kitchen, that was... <laughs> yeah. I meant that kitchen. Oh, okay, okay. Put that in the minutes. Okay. Put that in the minutes. Judy spends no time in the kitchen. <laughs> Tough crowd tonight. Uh, Eric, real quick, uh, where are we at with the master planning, getting that rolling? I still haven't got a commitment from um, the scope of services yet from... Structure point, but I had another impromptu discussion with them right. last week. So, hopefully, by our November meeting, I will have a scope of services we can approve and okay. at least get the money encumbered uh, for next year. 
or four? Nothing exciting the other night on the budget process. We're still, as we... My understanding, it's... Uh, uh, I didn't go to the council meeting, but I, don't, I didn't hear of any... Okay. Um, anything to the negative. Okay. Um, All right. Anything else, colleagues? Eric, you got anything for us? Just a couple things. Uh, November the 10th, uh, VFW 261 on Pendleton Pike is going to have a wreath laying ceremony at Veterans Park. Um, not on Veterans Day the 11th, but on the 10th. They've the got 10th. on the 10th. Um, I'll send a note out. I don't yeah, remember what. I think it was 10 o'clock, but I will send a note out to let you know when that is. But they're going to have a small ceremony. And then we've got our fall festival on the 26th uh, at Lawrence Community Park. Uh, we've got the signage up and candy purchased and uh, all those essentials. Um, <laughs> there you go. Thank you, man. And other than that, it's... Uh, Sunny and 70. Yeah. Mm. Anything else, colleagues? Yeah. All right. We're adjourned. I'm going to go downtown. I hate going downtown.